to feast up. Because in Ireland, you're expected either myself or a member of my family to visit every every uh, house, and they appreciate your coming. And even if they don't vote, they'd like to see you. And the Irish people love to interact with politicians and either complain or give out or whatever, you know. We have two major parties here, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, and to be honest, there's nothing between them on policy. It's just whether you're on Michael Collins' side or on De Valera's side during the time of the Civil War. And it's not based on any ideology whatsoever. Seeing the dichotomy of how um, all the candidates um, run for office, how they can campaign for themselves and whatnot, it felt very authentic to me. Um, I don't know, this was just me. I don't know if I maybe just really liked the candidates. I really liked what they were saying, especially Dennis. We were following him majority of the time. But narratively wise, I liked how it went back and forth between everyone and people who support them and people who don't support them and whatnot. And I thought that was really cool. Um, I really liked Dennis. I feel like he was a very boots on the ground man. And I kind of liked how we got to see his perspective and him having to kind of fight against um, what people are used to and comfortable with um, and kind of wanting to be the um, the front runner in a race in which he wasn't even sure if he would win, but still you could tell how passionate he was about speaking to the locals and getting back and like promising people certain things that like he potentially would follow up on. And I really liked how authentic it did feel because with a lot of those conversations, not just for Dennis, but for a lot of the other candidates, kind of hearing conversations in which they actually truly impacted some people was very refreshing because I feel like I don't really, you don't really hear about too much of that in the US unless I'm just, you know, removed from it, what's whatnot. But um, I really liked it. I thought it, it felt very personal. It felt like a lot of perspectives were taken into account and a lot of perspectives were represented in it. And I truly appreciated it. Politics in Ireland are particularly, um interesting and they are very um complex just because of the relationship of ireland and northern ireland and england and all of that so it really is such a um communal issue and it uh you know politics on a local level there um are much more impactful and i think this does a really great job of showing that i think it um shows a really interesting aspect of um campaigning and word of mouth and um, and reputation uh i it definitely makes politics much more personable um in a way that i don't really think is done or seen in the united states so i think that's uh really beneficial to see but overall i think you lay out uh, this information in a way that's uh, relatively easy to digest for what it is um, and you do it in a way that flows really well, makes a lot of sense and comes together to be a really informative and um, provocative uh, piece to watch. I love the casual banter that the politicians had with their constituents. You know, they had a lot of humor involved. I loved the segment where he was talking about the women taking his... Um, his posters and putting them in their bedrooms obviously he was joking but it um that it got a chuckle out of me for sure um and yeah it just just how close they are with the people that are voting for them going into their stores their shops uh knocking on their doors i loved at one point he, instead of putting his card through the the mail slot since there was no mail slot he just opened the, the person's car door and threw it inside um yeah, and, you know, they were really tearing up the tar with their teeth, as one person said in this doc, to try and get those votes for themselves. And it was really interesting to see their journey and the outcome, because the outcome was not what I expected. You know, just seeing all these little things that can go into getting elected, and it's not necessarily what you would think. So I think that this documentary um, showed that really well and really laid it all out well. Um, yeah, and I, I enjoyed hearing from everybody uh, they really got uh, sound bites and takes from everyone from constituents to radio hosts to uh, the candidates themselves, which I thought was really helpful and fun to see. It's pretty clear of how niche this is, of how it's targeted to um, the land of the Irish. And we get to see how the government works on a local level. 
Um, so we get to see these politicians on the ground running as they make moves to uh, indict their campaign and to um, care about the different uh, people that they entangle themselves with. We get to see the everyday person who strikes up conversations of what they feel like needs to be uh, improved upon on, in their community. And it really kind of creates this essence of the culture that we're stepping into, right? Um, and his journey is to win this campaign. And so when we see this, we see that he essentially doesn't get what he wants in this scenario. He doesn't win the election, but he does win in the end. And I think that's something uh, really nice to see in addition and a really great note to kind of end on um, as we see that in the end he chose love. And I think it's very important to see uh, individuals like these choose love in the end. And um, it kind of brings out the humanity in politics a little. Part of what I really liked this was the humor I saw come through with all of these Irishmen and especially politicians. Uh, I don't usually see that the humor come out. So I really loved that. I was very engrossed in this from the beginning. I, I don't know if it was the pacing, the in different interviews. Um, I really was thankful there was subtitles because yeah sometimes that accent is a little hard to understand um but i i love this a lot i love the opening with the national anthem and you know normally i like being formally introduced to people in a documentary but for some reason i didn't really get the formal introductions and it didn't really bother me i was still invested in these people i like the quote get the mind and gear before the mouth engages uh, some per some someone said it's the person over the party, and then it's also the party voters. So I honestly think it's a mix. Um, no gratitude for favors. The name of the game is here to get a seat. I was very interested in the results from the beginning, and but I love the ending where he says, "My gain has been greater than the loss that I've suffered." So I I think a lot of even in my family, you just see it, the Irish; they just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> accept whatever happens and move forward. There was so much that I learned about how they work, how they function, what they're looking for. Um, and also learning a bit more about the Irish uh, political system, uh, seeing how their system is, instead of you only getting one vote, um, you can choose your first choice, your second choice, your third choice. And it kind of has like a trickle down effect. And, um, seeing that it was very, uh, it was very eye opening just in the sense of how very politically divisive things have been here. Um, another thing that I found very fascinating was a lot of learning more about, what I'm going to dub as a uh, politician talk, which is basically dancing your way around wording so that uh, you're essentially masking the bad answers, uh, which I found very interesting. Just uh, them explaining how it works and then seeing it in action. Uh yeah, a lot of this was very insightful. The idea that, you know, everybody is going kind of like legitimately door to door, like as a part of themselves or their family, like, and they make such a big point about it and they have so much pride about it, I thought was really, really fascinating. And just kind of learning how, like I said, like the, the way that their government is kind of set up, um, the way that their elections work is just so different than what I'm used to seeing and participating in. Um, so I thought that was a really, really interesting, um, just kind of get a broader perspective and see something different um, than what I'm used to. And 
I think that's really important. I think it's really valuable. Um, and then to actually, you know, learn about this specific election, not just like general information about, um, you know, Ireland elected officials and things like that, uh, to learn the details about the specific election and kind of what happened and how it unfolded the way that it did um, from, you know, this kind of retrospective look because a lot of, you know, the phrase like hindsight is twenty twenty. I think being able to look back and, and analyze something, um, you often see things that you maybe wouldn't have necessarily before. So I thought that was really, really fascinating.